Hello everybody and welcome once again to Surviving with Blood Magic. Today we're off to the nether to see if we can get some blaze rods because that won't basically means we need to find a fortress. Well, to be honest, I've already found a fortress, but the way there is quite a long way. But at the moment I've got this armour on me, so I've got some leather boots which have basically been coming from grinding the, the zombies down and the zombie spawner. So it's got me protection 3, soul bound, depth strider 1, feather falling 2, which is probably good to have. This one's got protection 2, this has got fire protection 3, and this has got protection 3. So when we right click the uh, way, uh, the, the armour gem, we get this armour on. If you look, have a look, if I press F1 on there, we can see the actual amount of protection we've got compared to that one. We, it goes up all to 250 and it will use um, demonic will instead of anything else. Uh, the pickaxe was a little bit broken because I was using. I had to resort to using it in the nether, but I was repairing it with quartz at the same time. So, without further ado, let's get on. So, quick trip over to the nether portal here, and I've got some. This bow is actually really impressive. I have to be honest with you. It, the bow and the axe have both got pretty high damage because I did in fact update the will in this gem here. So now I've got 1021 will which gives this a, uh, ten, a 13 attack damage with smite 4 on it. So it's a pretty effective weapon. This has gone up to 9 as well. Um, and the bow we put on multi shot, punch 1, power 5 and infinity. So I don't need any arrows with it which is great. So we can go up here and have a look around. There's usually a load of zombie pigmen around here actually. There aren't, there aren't too many to date, which is good, so we'll go back down again and get out and go off to the to the fortress. The fortress is about let's have a look. The journey map. The fortress is here. I've called it oh no, fortress is yellow, isn't it? So I'm not sure how far away that is. Let's have a look at the um, waypoints. Four hundred and twelve mop blocks away so it's a, it's a reasonable distance especially for the nether. But what I've done is I've lit up the area with some torches so we can see which way we're going to go to. So last time it was fairly uneventful I have to be honest with you I did, I did a lot of tunneling to get there because uh, I already knew where it was we go a lot faster when we get there. So anyway I shall see you when I'm approaching the fortress. See you in a second. Hello. My friend over here let's just see if I can shoot him. Oh, no problem there. So that was one shot. Let's see if we if he dropped another gas tear for me. I've got quite a few gas tears. Hopefully I haven't shot a, a zombie pigment in the process. But who knows? Oh, here's the... Here's. Oops, another one. Nah, he's behind there. So what I'm going to carry on is go back to my path. Hopefully we don't shoot a zombie pigment. And they're unusual actually gas here because I'm not over a lava lake, which seems to be the normal case. He was close at that time, but I think I'm alright. So here's my torch. So the next one is over here, I think. Another quick look over this if he's if he's around about he isn't, right? Something got some XP down here. Where's that come from? Always good to get the XP because my Pickaxe does need some more repairing. I think I've actually gone the wrong way. There it is, my path. I can see the torch now. Anyway, we're back in a minute. Right, I'm actually just about there. I think I've built this pathway down here towards the fortress, as you can see. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do this. I'll put uh, I'll swap this over. Let's press F on that one and put that as the one here. Because that's my way. Thank you very much, zombie. Now, so I should be able to shoot and also at the same time. There's not being able to shoot some blazes over there. Ooh, I've got attacked by something. Oh, probably the blaze. <laughs> Fortunately, we've got fire protection, so I'll see how that cope, cope with that. I'm not been exploring this very much, I will be honest with you. I haven't, in fact, here's a lava pool, been here at all. I think there is a chest. Oh, that's just a good sign because. Downhill basically means I'm hoping for nether wart. And here we go, here's the nether wart, that's what we need. Certainly one of the things we need, so let's pick up this. Will the axe be good for this? I'll just use my hand, won't I? 
Yeah, we got the soil sand already, so don't need to take that with me. In fact, that's probably enough nether wart as it happens, but. So the next thing we've got to do is find some blazes. Uh oh, look at what we got here. And let's test this out now. Does that shoot both of them at once? Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, I think that was two other skeletons in a row. Didn't drop me any heads. For that, it would be ha good to have four panel on one of these weapons. And here is another set of nether warts. Interesting. Oh, I should be doing, actually. I should be marking my pathway. So as I normally do in pathways, I put the torch on the right hand side. So I know which direction they've been coming from. Now I can hear some, and they're probably right above me, some blazes. And probably a mag magma slime. But I've reached the end of this particular bit here, haven't I? Let's put another torch on the left hand side here. So I know that my way back is this direction. really mean to walk into the leather. What have we got up here? Oh yeah. Well I got withered but at the same time I've got a few of the bits and pieces. What did I get in here? So I actually got a piece of coal and a blaze wood which is actually I need this. So I've got some good stuff in here and I'll take those out of there. But it's probably a good idea to break up the chest as well. That actually, in fact, gave me a bit of a shock, I will be honest with you. We can eat, but damage levels don't seem to be too bad. I've got to watch not to do that. Now, there'll be more blazes around somewhere. I need a few blaze rods, at least two or three, I think, because I'd like to do potions, and I would also like to do um, the table. Having a quick look around here, nothing spectacular around here. And I didn't put down my my uh, torch, let's put it on the right hand side here because I came up from these steps and it doesn't seem to be any way around here but there's a tunnel down there so let's go and do that, that's where we came from what did I get last time, Some di a diamond is always good Let's put another torch on the left hand because that's the way we came in, wasn't it? Because we came through this bit here because that's where I took the first lot of um, stuff from. And there's another blaze somewhere about. And that looks like another chest. So as I came in. I must have been coming in that way, mustn't we? So we'll put the torch on this side here. But I think by the looks of it, they're on the on the back side of me, aren't they? The most of the blazes. Oh look, two chests. That's all that we've got in this one. Oh, not actually not too bad, not too shabby, even though it's um, unenchanted gold armor. Okay. More. We can actually turn. We can smelt the gold armor and put make it at least into nuggets, which is one thing we could do. Or we could even enchant it as well when we get around to enchanting it. So that's not too bad. That should put my torch down before I forget. Put on that corner there. In fact, it's quite dark in in here. That looks like we've come to something like a lava lake. Yes, exactly. So I'm carrying on exploring this. I hope you don't mind me exploring this on camera. I don't generally do so. I will be honest with you. Oh, look, a blaze. Uh, let's go like this. Let's see if we can reach him from here. No, it's too short. Now he's set on fire, so that he's going to shoot. Ah, I should have dodged him, shouldn't I? Right again. That's got him. Oh, and a skeleton here. And he's dropped. Oh, of course, I've got. Oh, he dropped. Why did he drop demonic will? Because I don't. Because I don't really want to be dropping demonic will. So there's more of them above me, I guess, by the sounds of it. So where haven't we explored? We've been down there. We've been down there. We've been down there. 
been down there. We haven't been up here yet. Let's put a torch on this side. Interesting. Well, they're firing at me, but they can't see me, which I think is a bit strange. <laughs> or if they're not firing at me, they're firing at something else. But where are they all? They must be behind me somewhere. Because this bit here looks a bit desolate. Empty. Put a torch down here because I did see a torch on the right hand side up here. Let's get these steps, don't I? Right, I'll put a torch on that bottom step. We'll go down here a bit. Oh, talk of the devils. Look at that. Oh, we could. Ooh. Not safe. <laughs> Definitely not safe. So I probably would like to build across to that, but I haven't brought any building blocks with me. Well, that's a bit careless. What is it? Well, I have got some building blocks. We just ham we just mine up a few of these over here, I think. No, I won't go that way. We'll go down. And there's also gravel in the nether. That's also interesting. So I'll tell you what, I'll mine up these blocks and come back in a second or two. <laughs> this is um, rather interesting as <laughs> it happens. I've just found them. What, there's another there's two blade spawners here by the looks of it. I do not want this demonic wheel because my wheel is already filled up. I'm actually surprised I'm getting it. I can see him, but can't I can't see him from it. Oh yes. So I thought I saw a blaze spawner about here. Did he drop? Did he? Is he worth going down there? Did he drop anything? No, just they're dropping demonic will. Oh, well, there we go. Oops, I've got shot at, but I can't hear the blaze. The blaze is shooting me, which is a bit strange. I should be able to hear the blaze noises as they fire at me, but I can't hear. I'm just getting set on fire. How am I doing for health anyway? It's not too bad at the moment. So that's the blaze spawner over there by the looks. So let's put some torches down here. This also looks like it's a good place for spawning because um, it's a crossroads. It's a good place for. Sp oh no. Yeah, I saw that. And I can hear him. Another one over there. I did that too quick. So I had to get back down here. I've forgotten. <laughs> Getting lost in the. No, I came along here, didn't I? How did I get down here? Alright, so here we are. Thought I should. Oops, I fell. No, can't fall. Oh, I said it fall. Let's put a torch up here, make sure we can see this one. Like that. Now, the blaze spawn is, I think, over here. Missed. Need to eat a bit for the regen. I should really be dodging while I'm doing that, shouldn't I? Can't see him. How many blaze rods have I got? Two, that's not... I need more. Oh, this is it. Yes, I remember now. They just despawned. 
So what I wanted to do was to build my way across here, didn't I? I can't reach. Again, higher. Huh. Now let's break this fence. A pickaxe it wants. Let's break a fence with a pickaxe. Can't reach him, so can I get down here now? Maybe I should break these two fences as well. Get them the, the axe into swing here. Another good, another blaze rod. What we can actually do now is because we've got a blaze spawn here, we have to light this up. But if we light it up completely, every block, it should stop spawning blazes. I just want to try a second. Why are you using? Try two, this one. <laughs> so if we do that, we should get a reasonable. Where is he? Over there. Yeah, not too much damage there. Well, let's carry on lighting this up. Another one by the sounds of it. So we've got to light up a complete area here. Of um, every block I've got to put a torch on, otherwise they can spawn in a four by, well, nine by nine area. So, yeah. I'm not sure if they can spawn on fences, I don't think they can. So let's see if we can build our way out of here again. Now, oh, he didn't drop that off there. Good, that's actually good. Anyway, they're not spawning so re frequently now, so that's good. Oh, they are still spawning. So they must be spawning on the other side of these fences. So let's put some torches down on the fences. I did bring lots of torches with me, just in case. But as you can see, this is definitely a one-hit weapon. <laughs> Let's wander around here. Let's get rid of these posts here, because obviously it's... I need to bring this down a bit too, so I can get out. Because that's the way I came in. Where's he spawned that one now? I can't see him. <laughs> I'm going to carry on doing this for a bit and I'll come back in a while. Well, I think that's it for this particular adventure. <laughs> I've lit up this, they're not spawning too much, but I've got to make sure it's lit up well enough and I've run out of torches. There you are, I thought I brought enough torches and I haven't. Um, I don't need those guys. So I'm going to go back down now. As you can see, I'm going to follow my torches on the left hand side and then we should find our way back out again. Oops. Thank you. Another one. Yeah, this is the left hand side still. Anyway, I'll see you, see you if there's anything eventful that happens or when it back at base. Coming back to the, the base here, you can see I've got the torches marking the way. So it was fairly uneventful coming back. Just had a bit of difficulty finding my way. We could have some fun with zombie pigmen. Well, I'm very tempted to. <laughs> a bit of revenge for last time. <laughs> but I think we'll just go back home. Still got the two portals. I'm quite still not sure why that happened. So let's have a look at what we've got now. So we've ended up with some different types of armor, iron horse armor, gold horse armor, some golden chest plates. We also ended up with six blade rod, one gas tier, one gunpowder. No no weather skeleton skull. We've got three skulls and nine bones. 
and another wart. We've got 37, that's fine. So we've got plenty of stuff to be getting on with. So the first thing we're going to build, if we've still got time, that is, is the, um, I can't remember what it's called now, so look. This thing here, alchemy table. Because that's not too difficult. We can make this one. It's just a weak weather. As long as we've got the blaze rod, stone, planks, and two pieces of gold, really not too difficult. I've even got some gold with me. I always found that in chest, didn't I? So let's make that up straight away. I've also got enough uh, blank slates, reinforced slates, and imbued slates to upgrade the altar again. Well, no, that wasn't for the altar. That was, yes, it was to upgrade the altar. It was to put in uh, ruins of sacrifice and I've got 12 blank ruins here as well, which we can do as which we can do as well. Um, what else do we need to do? I wanted to get. Let's do this thing. What I'm going to do. We needed stone, didn't we? We should have stone in, actually, in here. I think I took most of my coal, so I'm going to put it through some furnaces. So we ended up with a reasonable amount of stone. Stone. I'll just clear out my inventory and come back in a second. Right, I'm emptied out my inventory. So let's get on and now make the table. Now oh, I'm missing the weak old blood orb. That should be in this chest here. Um, it's not. Oh, they use the apprentice one. I know where the weak one is anyway. It's in the it's in the altar down below. If I use any LP, it'll be there to do it. So this one is we, this is new. We have not done this before. So let's have a look at this thing. Put it down somewhere. It's quite large. But I think it goes in this direction wherever you put it down. I don't think you can control the direction. So if you want to be that way, we'll try it anyway. Put it down. I think. Let's try again. So big. Oh no, that goes that way. So you have to put it in here. So here's the interface. So we we need the apprentice. So you need an orb in here. So what does it have us anywhere we can see the recipes from this one? No, we have to probably look at the uses of it on here. So, for example, we can make some plant oil. Uh, let's do that because that's actually quite useful. We can make bread with sugar and warm wheat, which is good. We can make two flints with a flint and a gravel. Um, what does it tell us? It uses 0 LP, 200 LP, 100 LP. Okay, so let's let's do this one i've got plenty of fruit i've got plenty of stuff beetroot is actually not that useful so beetroot would probably be a good one to do uh, if i go to the right place honestly i think i'll be able to remember remember why i went around my own base wouldn't you i think beetroot's in here got 60. let's take half of those and when we need some bone meal the bone meal is fairly straightforward we've got got a good stack of bones now. I noticed that when we were coming through here let's take that'll give me uh, 20 I think it's three times isn't it so it'll give me 42 yeah 42 bone meal so we can then put this onto this table here so it says it wanted three beetroot one two and I guess it doesn't matter where we put them and one of these and then it'll use 100 LP out of here I think and then make us some plant oil. We'll do that again. I'll actually make four sets, I think. I think I have to do another. It might it might carry on. But my guess is it's not going to do that. It's going to stop when it reaches the four. Yes. So we can remove these out of here. So we've got four of these now. And the use of these we can actually make this one basic cutting fluid now this is the ore doubling mechanism you've got so you can either make coal I think it's coal sand I th yeah I have to say coal sand so four coal sands two coal and one flint so let's get that out. I think we'll do two sets of these Two coal and one flat will make coarse and what else do we need? I think it was gunpowder and redstone, wasn't it? We're getting a reasonable amount of both of those at the moment. I've probably got two actually of these now. Look at that. Yeah, that's cool, isn't it? <laughs> so, what was it now? It was. Let's have a look at the use of this one. That's the recipe. I want the uses of it, don't I? 
so we can make this so oh it's a bottle of water what have we been getting from the fishing that's no problem and sugar that's also no problem um i think i've got it in one of these chests if not it'll be down let's go and get some it'll be in here here we got plenty look how many do we need let's make we'll need books at some stage i think six will do for the starters make that into sugar what else did we want sometimes it's hard to remember these recipes um uses of that one oh can i think oh yes this one here so we needed for that we needed two coal and one flint let's do that coal we can have got a wrong place i need it in the table two of those two of those and two of those should use up the here i'm not quite sure how much it used from this one we can actually check with the sigil i haven't got the division nation sigil with me so we've got eight calls on now so now we should be able to make this agent so we needed one of those we'll try again let's make two of these i'm gonna make two wasn't i that doesn't work um let me double check this again I only need one, don't I? Oh, bottles of water I haven't got. I knew I hadn't forgot something. But gunpowder and sugar we can put in as well. Two gunpowder, two sugar. One of those gunpowder. We, oh, I only brought one gun. Oh, we've got gunpowder. Should we get redstone? Bottles of water. Britain's going very definitely forgetful. Now, water. I've got one of these chests but I did sort them out and put everything in different places which means I don't know where anything is of course <laughs> typical no nope. yes last chest of course I can only do one of these at a time they don't stack I don't think no they don't stack so what am I missing now let's double check that again the uses of this Ghost redstone coal powder. Yep, I've got these in there. And there we go. I think that's two of everything, and I'll put a second water bottle in when that finishes. And then we can see what this does. Actually, I know what it does, so that's fairly straightforward. The next thing I would like to do is to, um, here we go, basic cutting fluid. And it's got 16 uses so the uses of this one we can make claw reagent with two flints and the uses of that one would then make a sigil of the claw i don't actually know what that one does but um you do that in the alchemy ray what else do we have here we have this one here so if we put this with some iron ore it will give us double or doubling as you can see um, for me this is probably a bit of a long winded way around to making this because I've got the pickaxe that does it anyway but just for completeness what am I missing in here should have done the second one oh I have to take it out oh yes I do we have got some gold ore I think I put it in here no that's my death markers Ah, here we go so we could use this like this we could take three of those and then we could double the ore on that so if we didn't have this mechanism this is the, the definitively the mechanism that would be provided here so we could then take that out of here no it doesn't do it on here Was it on the table no nope. that's all i've forgotten where it was I th it might be the half hour forge so let's have a look at your uses of this one Oh, yes you do ah 
That's the blood orb. I'm just wondering. No, it should work with a week. And a magician's blood orb. Should work. Well, yes, it will work with an apprentice or blood orb. So basically, oh, I know I've done wrong. Let's put it in the side here. And there we go. So that's the result comes out in the middle. And any of these six spaces around the side you can use for that. So then you get your ore doubling in the sense of the alchemy way. And I can leave this in here. And this will then give us 16 uses of this. I don't know whether you can enchant it. Let's have a look at the use of this one. No, there's no enchanting of it. But you get these three ore doubles that you could do. Fortunately, I don't need to do that <laughs> much. I'm happy about that because it is a long-winded way around of making this stuff. That would give us like 32. Six, each one of these would give us 32 blocks. That would give us a stack. And all that extra work to make this was a lot of work. But it's better than nothing if you've got no other choices. So that's the, this table. Now the next thing I'd like to do is to try something. I'm not sure whether this is going to work. I've done a few calculations and maybe it'll work. I'm going to make a block of gold like this and if we look at the uses of that one in the blood altar we can make the magician's blood orb we can also use it in here for compression agents and we've already done the common tartaric gen and there's a ritual penance which will then give us these living armor downgrade tombs which I'm not quite sure and fully understand about what that means <laughs> we'll come across that later on in the game what I'd like to do is to go down here go back to the um, the altar now this, this, the altar I've down here I have between episodes I have upgraded to tier 3 so we have a tier 3 altar down here now and I've also put on here all of the um, maxed out the uh, Ruins of Sacrifice. So the Ruins of Sacrifice will then give me max mob stuff. So in here I've got 10,000 LP. So I'm going to wait for a bit and I'll come back in a minute when there's a load of mobs formed in the queue here. Because to do this one, if you look at it, you can actually see from the recipe. So if I look at the uses of this in the altar, it tells you the drain. So it consumes 20 LP per tick and it needs 25,000. So I've got in here 10,000. So what I'm going to do is remove this and wait till there's about 16 mobs in here. It takes a few seconds, so I'll come back when there are. Well, I think I've got enough mobs co coming now. And each, because this is one's upgraded, and down here these are all upgraded, I'm getting about 1,600 LP per, per mob. So if I multiply that by 10, I need 10 mobs here, it should be enough to do this. So let's put it in and you'll see this going down very fast here but I'll keep on it like this the speed it goes down is much faster than I can do any other way so what I'm going to do now is to get this ready and just start slaughtering these mobs watch the altar like that as long as I don't waste the mobs so to speak <laughs> by having too many so I'm going to put this into my offhand as well. We should get the orb. Now to do this by yourself is very hard work. You can see I'm watching the, la the layers here. If I wait till the black bit appears then I know I'm safe. So any second now it should convert. There we go. That was 25,000. Oh, of course, this is repairing itself nicely. Did you watch the, the pickaxe as I get nearer here? <laughs> repairing itself. So there we have it. We have one orb. I tried to do this with self-sacrifice, but I couldn't keep up. So this one now. Right-click this. Take the damage. Put it back in here, and then we start to get LP from here. It's going to start storing LP. So with the rest of these mobs, we can happily zap as well. Um, where do I put it? There you go. And as they, you see, one of them there is dying. They're used. They're actually producing less LP. 
So the next thing we can do in this area here is to create the well of suffering. So basically the well of suffering, what that's going to do, this should, this should drain it out. It, takes, it stores a lot of LP, this thing. I think this one has got 4,000 in it. I'm just trying to see what it says. There should be one more. Oh, missed him. Because he takes damage for whatever reason he gets stuck and he gets hurt when he's in that one. Don't ask me why. But he does. So we have now got the Master Blood Orb. If we look at the sigil now, it should tell us what our LP in the network is. Right click it. So we've got 40,800 in here. So my next episode, next episode, we're going to do some more. I'm going to, between episodes, I'm obviously going to do a bit of brewing, get some spells organised. I'm going to put that next one out of here. You see, the baby, the baby zombie starts taking damage, and the more damage he takes, the less LP they give. Like that. We haven't done anything with this LP that we're storing in the network next. So I think that we're going to do some, make some more sigils next time for other different things. So let's have a look what we got for sigils. One of these would be quite useful for us the last time uh, in the nether. The bridge one actually, sigil. <laughs> dear, dear. So all of these sigils we can make. We've done the divination sigil. We can do the air sigil. It's basically float, makes you float. Water sigil will actually give you water. The recipe for this one is we need a water reagent with a blank slate. The water reagent is in the Hellfire Forge with two buckets of water and sugar. I don't know whether they get the buckets or whether it uses the, that. So that's really not very difficult to do. It takes 10 will to do this one. So we can do that, no problem at all. Same for lava. The lava is this time it is block of coal, cobblestone, redstone and bucket of lava. 32 and it's going to do 10 of those as well so we can do that with the small so I could have done these before couldn't I the void signal I think that I'm not sure what that does I've got to remember I think it voids stuff off gunpowder string buckets no big deal as it happens again it's 10 will for that one we've done that one that one signal of the green grove we will definitely do this one this is an interesting one um, this time it's growth reagent 128 so they're going up in sort of stuff but no problem we've got all of those ingredients so saplings we've got but so many of them using as firewood anyway enough of that so till next time i wish you all the best bye for now